this demo, I'm going to show you how to commit changes to a new container image with Docker commit. First, you should have Docker installed and be running a command prompt in administrator mode. Now let's run Docker images to take a look at my downloaded images. I'm going to be using the Microsoft IIS container, but the concept should be the same for committing changes to a Linux container as well. If you don't have the Microsoft IIS container image downloaded yet, you can download it using the docker pull command I used in my video, How to Download Container Images from Docker Hub. Now I'm going to use docker run to start up a new container from the Microsoft IIS image. I am also using the minus D parameter to run this container in the background. If I run docker ps, you can see my IIS container currently running in the background. Now I am going to run docker exec to open up a PowerShell console within this container, this time specifying the IT parameter so that I can run this command in interactive mode. Now I am at a PowerShell prompt inside my IIS container. If I change into my www root folder and list the contents, I can see the default IIS start HTML file. Let's browse to this page to make sure that IIS is working. First, we need to get the container's IP address by running ipconfig. Now that I have the IP address, I'm going to switch over to Internet Explorer and put it into the address bar. Here we can see the IIS start page is loading. I'm going to add another HTML file to www root that I can save in my new container image I'm about to create. That file is going to be called hello world.htm. Then I'm going to add some content to that file so we can see it in the web browser. Let's add the words hello world wrapped in an h1 tag. Now let's switch back over to Internet Explorer and go to the new page. And there it is. Now that I've made the changes I wanted to make, I'm going to go ahead and exit this container. You can see that the container is still running. Before we can commit our changes to a new image, I first need to stop this container. I'll do this by running docker container stop against the running container. Now to turn that recently stopped container into a container image, I'm going to run docker commit against it and I'm going to pass the name my new IIS image to it. Now that that is complete, I'm going to run docker images again. Here you can see my new IIS image in the list. If I go back to Internet Explorer and hit refresh, you can see that it fails because the container is now stopped. Let's go ahead and start up a new container from our newly created container image. Now when I go back to Internet Explorer and hit refresh, oh, the page failed again. That is because we are still using the old IP address. When we spin up a new container, a new IP address gets assigned. So let's use docker exec to run ipconfig on the container and get its IP address. When I put that new address into Internet Explorer, we can see the hello world file again. And that is how to commit changes to a new container image with docker commit.